Now you guys are going to love this one. Would you have walked by the Power Ranger or would you have picked it up? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 29 bread and butter bolos items that I sold on eBay that I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, and we'll see where else. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I sourced cheap and sold for a profit. So let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold is this vintage belt buckle. Um, it is a horse belt buckle. It's silver plate cowgirl cowboy western. It's a western buckle. I got this at a thrift store. I did pay up a little bit for this. For me, it's paying up. I paid $5 for this, and I sold it for $22.20 plus shipping. I usually typically source very cheap, so $5 is paying up. This is a Disney Pixar Planes Chug Fuel Truck Diecast Fire and Rescue Toy. This came out of a thrift store mystery box, and I decided to sell it separately because it's a little bit harder to find. Is it big money? No, but I probably flipped 50 cents into $9. I took a best offer of $9 plus shipping on this. And on the bottom, the toy will be marked with um, additional information. This here, VTech Go Go Smart Wheels. Um, I a lot of times will lot these up. I have a huge lot. Um, I don't know how many, but it's pretty big lot. I, I maybe should have parted it out because it's kind of sitting, and I expected it to do better. So maybe parting them out is the way to go. But who knows if I'll ever get to that? So I'm just waiting on the right buyer to come along for that. Somebody who needs a whole bunch for their kid. Um, this came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. It was a toy box and this little ship, um, it's a rocket ship, go, go smart wheels. You push it and it has lights and sound. I sold this for $8 and 14 cents plus shipping and it sold pretty quick. Here's a side view of it. I'm sure you guys see these at garage sales all the, all the time. You can pick them up super cheap, usually for like a quarter um, so yeah, you can flip them. Usually they're more long tail. This one sold quick for some reason. I have no idea why. This is a vintage Lottie doll. Uh, it's like a paper doll, but it's, it's not really paper. It's like felt or something. It was a random item at a thrift store, or I'm sorry, at a garage sale. And I think they were charging, let me see here, check my notes, a dollar each. Was it a great buy? I don't know. I mean, I sold it. I made a profit. <laughs> I sold it for $15 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $23.65. I did buy some other ones. I don't think people are going to be knocking down my door to buy these fast, but I do think they will sell eventually. And I do have more of those listed. This is a vintage Fisher Price Little People Farm Animals. Super fun little nostalgic item that people look for. Maybe they played with it when they were a kid and they want to buy it for their kids. I don't know, but these tend to do pretty good. Uh, this one came out of a thrift store mystery toy box, and I took a best offer of $32 plus shipping. This little Kermit is like this big. He is just a little guy, and here he is beside the tape measure. So he's not, he's just above two inches. Cake topper is a good thing to put in the title. This is probably another thing that you guys probably will not pick up because it is a major bread and butter. But um, sometimes I just am in the mood to list smalls and I just do it. And if I'm looking the item up to see how it comps, I've already done the work and it's really easy to just hit sell similar and list it real quick. So I do that from time to time. $5.84 plus shipping on this little guy. Okay, so these are the vintage Fisher Price Little People Play Family Schoolhouse letters and numbers. So they actually fit into a little tray that fits into the house. How do I know that? I know that because I found the house at the Goodwill Bins and I bought the whole house and the house was damaged um, and I parted it out. So these numbers and letters sold super fast 
for, let me see, $10.95 plus shipping. I had to see if I took a best offer. So those came from the Goodwill bins. This little Safari Limited Ocean figure, uh, I do pick up Safari toys. They are marked Safari. Some of them do better than others. I will part them out and sometimes I will do small lots. Um, $9 is what I got for this little toy. It's just crazy sometimes. Um, and that came out of a mystery box, a toy box from Auctions for You YouTube channel. The next item is this vintage belt. It's like a scalloped snake fish scales belt. <laughs> it's gold tone. It's kind of crazy. I got this at an estate sale for a buck and I sold this for $13 plus shipping. This next item are these vintage 1980s ET puffy stickers. Incomplete. This was from that amazing sticker haul that I got at a garage sale. Still selling items out of that. Just an amazing, uh, a bit amazing find. I think I've got the unboxing over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. If you want to see what else I found, some of those sticker sheets I have sold for fifty dollars and up. Uh, this one sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping. This is a Mark's Geronimo Indian action figure. He is loose. He's not perfect. You can see he's got some paint loss, but he is one cool guy. Um, I sold him for $20 plus shipping and I got him at a garage sale for three bucks. This next item is a vintage Valentine fun Barbie from 1997. Um, I do pick up pink box Barbies from the nineties. So most of the pink boxes I think are from the nineties. Don't quote me on that. Um, paid $3 for this. Is this going to be a big money bolo? No, but is somebody going to be looking for it? Quite possibly. I sold this for $18 plus shipping. I did take a best offer and I've got $3 in that from a garage sale. This little cutie came from a mystery plush lot that I got from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel, but there's a twist to this one. This bundle of plush was gifted to me from Noel Farm Girl Scavenger. That is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. And Donna was doing plush bundles, a big ball of plush for $50 free shipping. And Noelle was in her chat and told Donna to send it to me as a gift. So Noelle and I did a video unboxing of that. So you can check that out on my channel and definitely check out Donna Bottolino and Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. Um, if you're looking for inventory, Donna has, she has great stuff. And uh, Noelle has a reseller channel that is full of information. She is a bolo finder for sure. So this little guy, I ended up selling for $10.95 plus shipping. He is a gunned Bailey bear and he has this cute little curly fur and he sold pretty quick. This is a vintage 1987 Kansas City Plaza Lights ceremony book. It is a Christmas ornament. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know that I pick these up every time I see them. You can usually get them super cheap at garage sales and thrift stores, and some of them can go for 20, 25 bucks. They are a nice bread and butter bolo, and they always seem to sell. Now, some sell quickly, some are long tail, but they always sell for me. I love these. I uh, got it at a garage sale for a quarter, and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. The next item here is this automobile magazine, and I sold this for $16.42. I did have free shipping on these. I have a whole bunch of these listed. I got them at a garage sale. I bought a whole box full. They are long tail, and when I say long tail, they are long tail, um, but they are selling, and I'm making a good profit on them, and it's something different for my store to bring in different buyers. And I've sold some of these internationally. So I've had a repeat customer for these. So would I pick it up again? I don't know. I mean, it took me a lot of time to part them out. I did each um, one individually, but it was kind of a test run to see if it was something that I was interested in doing. But look these things up. Some of them go for more. Uh, Primetime Treasure Hunter over on his YouTube channel, he buys uh, things like this magazines and stuff. And he puts them in big lots and he sells them for really good money. So check him out. If you haven't primetime treasure hunter, awesome channel, great person. And let's move on to the next one. Okay. I don't know if you guys know about magic tracks, but they are, um, it's like this track 
And I would not pick up the track to sell it, but this little dyno, I saw it in the Goodwill bins and I didn't know immediately that it went to that. But when I looked it up, I was like, oh, I've seen magic tracks. I know what those are. And you like link them together. But anyway, this is a dinosaur. This is a major, major, major bread and butter. Um, would I recommend picking it up? No, not if you only want to make a couple bucks. But I, I got it at the bins. It was probably 50 cents or so. And I sold it for $5.84 plus shipping. So let me know in the comments. Do you waste your time on items that cost $10 or less? Um, I don't typically, but sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to list it. Let's see if I can sell it. All right. We've got these Wade figures. I do pick these up. I don't know why. I just find them and I'm drawn to them. I think they're super cute. Most of them are bread and butter and I just put them in small lots, but they typically sell. So I will pick them up. They are marked. Um, let me see if I can find the marking here for you. They say Wade right here. Wade, England, I think. Yeah, England. Let me see clearly marked and i sold these for 20 cents plus shipping i don't know where i got them i pick them up at garage sales estate sales wherever i find them um and this one i didn't write it down so i apologize this is a glass beaded bunny easter stretch bracelet i think this is called lamp work but don't quote me on that if you are a jewelry expert let me know in the comments um but I sold two of these and these came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 300 pounds of jewelry. I've got the whole story on that on this channel. The videos go way back. Um, I, I wanted to do like jewelry unboxings and I did a whole bunch. So you can check those out. But again, it's probably a year and a half, two years ago. So this did take a little while to sell. I had two of them. The first one sold quicker, but I sold this for $14.80 plus shipping. These items, what's great about jewelry is it doesn't take up much space. What I find though, is that jewelry is small. So I have a tendency to put it to the side and list bigger items first because jewelry doesn't take up much space. And then I never get it listed. So um, I have a hoard of jewelry. I just buy it whenever I see it. I love to buy it. I just don't, I'm not real consistent with listing it. All right, this one right here came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. It is a vintage 2000 How the Grinch Stole Christmas Cindy Lou Who plush doll, seven inch with tag, sold her for $12.58 plus shipping. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I was on the wrong line. $14.80 plus shipping. And I actually got her at a garage sale for a dollar. I was looking at the wrong one. I apologize. This one came out of a thrift store toy box. And this one sold for $12.58 plus shipping. So these are the 1986 vintage Fisher Price. Uh, they're from 2500 Main Street lot. Uh, I think it's a play set. And these are just the little traffic lights and signs. This came from the Goodwill bins. It is the Husky Helper Blue Race Car. And there were others listed. I don't know why mine sold quickly, but it sold quickly. Maybe I had it priced on the lower end. I'm typically on the high end of comps. But I wasn't real sure about this one, so I think I priced it more competitively. Sold it for $11.10 plus shipping. Or I had it promoted and maybe it was at the top and maybe somebody just grabbed it. I'm not sure. This is another Barbie. This is Winter Dazzle Barbie from 1997. She is a General Mills Barbie, new in the box. Got her at a garage sale for $3 and I sold her for $25.89 plus shipping. She did take a while to sell. But, um, I mean, $3 into 25, I, I love that. This is a vintage Horton mesh trucker hat. And I ended up taking a low offer on this. I took $15 for it. It had been sitting in my store for a little while. Uh, it just wasn't moving. I thought maybe it was going to be a good one. It's made in the USA. It's vintage, but I don't know. Didn't just didn't move. So 15 bucks is what I sold it for. And I probably got that at a garage sale for 50 cents a buck. This was a really long tail item also. It's a necklace and earring set, green, silver, 925. I'm guessing I could have had some better keywords in the title. Um, just, I don't know. It took a long time. They were marked 925 here on the class. I always include photos of that if they are marked. 
ended up selling this for a best offer of $23 plus shipping. And again, if I would have known what this green stone was, that would have been something good I could put in title instead of just green. But it sold and I made a nice profit. So uh, that one came, I don't know where I got that one. I think it was a garage sale. Now you guys are going to love this one. Would you have walked by the Power Ranger or would you have picked it up? I feel like some of you would have passed this by, but let me tell you, these little Power Ranger Super Mega Force keys can be a bolo for sure. Um, this came out of a mystery toy box that I got from Auctions for You, and the entire unboxing is on this channel if you want to check that out. This little key, let me show you what they look like when you pop it open right here, turns into a key. So I guess it goes to something. I'm not 100% sure but I have sold these on several occasions. This one sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $29.59 on this. Um, I use Google Lens to figure out which character it is. Like this is Red Black Quantum Ranger. I didn't know that. I had to use Google Lens. And Google Lens is free. You can download it to your phone. I highly recommend it. I use it all the time. I use it when I'm at garage sales to identify items. This little guy got at a garage sale for a buck. He is a vintage 1984 Emotions Berenstein Bears plush frog and pocket. Super cute item. I got this for a um, dollar at a garage sale and I sold him for $14.80 and the buyer was all in for $24.20. The next item is another Power Rangers Super Mega Force Red Ranger key. It is loose, no packaging. Also came out of that auctions for you $100 mystery toy box that I bought. And I sold this for $14.80 plus shipping. Now, this one was a little loose and didn't close super tight. So I sold it for a little less. The next item is this uh, little uh, unicorn kitty plush. And just a funny little toy. Uh, you know what? I didn't write anything down. I think that's the one where the it got canceled. So let's disregard that one. I think it's relisted. Okay, Octopod, uh, Octonauts. If you see Octonauts, they are collectible. If you can get the entire playset and all the figures, you are in looking at a big money bolo. I like to part them out. I got. Um, I have even parted out the actual playset. Um, I bought one that was incomplete and I sold the pods, the slide, the trunk. I think I have a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products of how I parted that out. Um, reseller testing Bolo products and sourcing with Bolo Buddies. And I have those linked down below if you want to check out the videos on those channels. This guy came from a garage sale, 50 cents, and I sold him for $12. Buyer was all in for $18.60 with tax and shipping. These came from a garage sale. I had 50 cents in these. They are Cracker Jack toys. They are little clowns. They are tin and they are super cute. Um, let me show you here how big they are. Just a little metal tin toy. <laughs> That's what they look like. Is that crazy or what? I'm like, I'm going to take a chance on these. 50 cents. I can sell this. I sold these for $30 plus shipping. So pretty crazy what things sell for. All right, let me know in the comments, what was your favorite item that you would have walked past that you will now pick up? Um, thank you for being here. My name is Courtney and I teach about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. This was a bread and butter video. I have big money videos. I feature other sellers. I feature featured members. Um, I do category videos where I take a category and I break it down for you guys and show you the big money bolos tons of bolo content over here on the channel. So if you're new here, I would love for you to check out another video. They're going to be popping up a couple here and here, a subscribe and another video down here. Um, subscribe. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. And if you've been here a long time, thank you. Thank you to all my viewers. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, the channel is growing and I just can't even believe it sometimes. I started this like on a whim. I don't even know. I didn't even really watch YouTube. So just, it's just been amazing. It's been an amazing adventure and I love it. And I'm super excited to help everyone learn as I learn. So thanks for watching.